down the head. Rotate back, tilt at the rib cage. Tilt down, hold for two seconds. Come back up, rotate a little bit further. Tilt down, hold. Back up, rotate as far as you can each time. Halfway. Tilt down, go to switch sides. Hold for two seconds. A little bit further. And one last time. And relax. Next one of the Y's, T's, W's, L's, and I's. You're right down here. Feet up off the mat, hold the toes towards your knees. You extend the hands out to the side, 90 degree angle for level one. Point the thumbs towards the ceiling. Pinch the shoulder blade, step back, back and down nice and tight. Want to really pinch them. Good and tight right there. Right for level two, you can move into the hands up position right here. Level three, as long as your shoulder blades are still down and back, you can bring it out here. If it's not, you're not losing anything by going to level one right down here and keeping the shoulder blades nice and pinched, nice and tight. But really keep those shoulder blades nice and pinched and tight. Keep the shoulders away from the ears. Next one on the push up hold, make sure elbow pits rotate towards the front. Screw your hands in the ground. Nice flat surface right here. We want to need peaks or valleys on our push ups. So nice solid push up hold. Abs nice and tight, legs nice and tight. Squeeze the butt cheek, tuck the tailbone underneath. Should be nice and solid. Shoulders should be directly above the hands on a nice structure. Head. Don't want to drop it down. It should be looking 18 inches to two feet in front of you. Nice and solid. It should be nice and rock solid right here. You should be able to put a stick from your head all the way down to your butt. Nice straight line. Next one on the side pillars. <laughs> Starting off on the elbow right here and the knee. For level one. Hand on the hip or up in the air. Either one. As long as it's not on the ground here. The hand is completely off so you have nice straight line, nice straight structure. Keep your head in alignment right here, nice and solid. If you're ready for level two, you can hop up onto the feet, stack them. And level three, make yourself a star, kick the foot in the air, and toss a hand up. Right here, nice and solid, nice straight line. Again, keep everything in proper alignment. Go ahead and switch sides. Shoulder right above the elbow right here. Make sure it's not out over or under. Drive it up on the knees. Either hand on the hip or hand up in the air. Level one, nice and solid right here. Nice straight line. Keep the head in proper alignment. Basically pretend your back is up against the wall. It should be nice and straight. Level two, if you're ready for it, go ahead and pop up on the feet. Stack them if you can. If you got a sprained foot, don't try level three like mine. one of the hip extensions. Level one, gonna drive through both heels. Stand up, squeeze the butt cheek. Squeeze the back of the leg, drive through the heels. Nice and solid right here. Ready for level two, that's pretty easy for you. Drive one knee up towards the chest. Nice and solid right there. Level three, kick the leg out. That should be parallel or lower, but not touching the ground. Then the other leg, make sure you switch sides to the halfway point. Still driving through that heel, keeping the back of the leg tight, keeping the glute tight. Everything's nice and solid. Neck should be nice and relaxed. Pressure should only be on your shoulders. And relax. <clears throat> Next one, moving into the stick. Stiff leg, deadlifts. Start off on the right side here. Extending the hands forward. Heel up as high to the ceiling as possible. Upper body. Legs should be locked in place. Treasure coming down. Extend forward. Back up. Any of these that you have trouble with, on a scale of five or more out of ten, make sure you mark it down. Right for the next level. Leg this down, hand goes behind. Reach towards that opposite foot. And back up. And switch sides. So again, right here, driving forward. Squeezing the butt cheek on the way back up. Upper body, lower leg, nice and hinged together. Standing forward, bring it back up. Get to the next level, bring the arm behind, try and touch. This opposite shoulder blade, get a nice shoulder stretch. Reach towards the opposite foot. And squeeze on the way up. 
nice and solid right here. You can have a bend in the knee, it doesn't have to be completely straight. Just nothing more than 10 to 15 degrees. And bring it back up. Stop. And nice and solid right through there. Next one, ankle mobility up against the wall. Foot's about away from the wall. Feel that the front foot stays flat. Driving the knee towards the wall. You can go back as far as you can until your heel starts popping up as you drive forward. So you want to keep that heel flat, keep driving forward into it. Should be able to get out over your foot if you have decent ankle mobility. If not, you're going to have issues with squats, which is eventually going to have hip issues, lower back pain, all that kind of good stuff. You're going to have trouble with your lunges as well. So if you can't get out over your foot, make sure you mark this one down. And switch sides halfway. Fix that one a little bit, that's fine. Next one, the goblet squats. Go ahead and grab your toes. Pull your hips down as far as you can. If your heels start popping up, only go to the point where your feet are completely flat. You can't come up on your toes at all. It'll be nice and solid right here. The end state goal is to get basically the butt and the calves. Nice and solid right here. Up by nice and upright. Just be chilled out right here. From here, squat right back up. Squat right back down on the bottom. You can press the elbows against the knees, try to open up the hips a little bit. Really open up the hips. Right up. And right back into it. <coughs> Moving into our split squats. Get into two 90 degree angles. So this should be the bottom position. 90 degree angle here, 90 degree here. Upper body nice and upright. Right through here for level one. Dropping down, pressing back up. If you're comfortable with that and you're not a five or above, Halfway. you can move into reverse lunges right here. Just stepping back, nice and solid. You can also move into tactical lunges with the rear foot flat if that happens to be your job profession. Stop. Next one on the other side. Get moving into that nice 90 90 split squat. Dropping down, upper body, nice and upright. Don't let the body come forward. Just means you have hip mobility issues. Right here, level two. Step to the rear. And level three, once you're ready for it, step to the front. If your knees are shaking all over the place, make sure you write it down. You want your knees nice and solid. Coming in through there. Don't want to be holding place. You want to be bent forward. It should be nice and solid throughout all this. Next one, nice wide stance. It should be about double hip width apart. Sit back to the side. Weight should be directly over this ankle, so you should have your center gravity directly above it. If you're out over this way, out over this way, not going to work. So you got to stay right directly above that ankle. Press back up. Upper body as upright as possible. Keep nice neutral spine alignment. Pressing back up, ready for the next level. Just gonna take a step out, press back up. Step out, press back up. And next one on the other side. So again, nice wide stance. Level one. Toes pointed always towards the front. Don't let them start scooting out. Every couple reps, you're gonna have to check them. Make sure. Sitting back into the side, weight right above this ankle, press back up. Once you're ready for the next level, take a step out. You can extend the hands forward if you need to for balance. That depends on what works for you. The last one's on the traversing lunge. You just show from the back. You can start looking towards the front. We use this line right here. Stepping off. A 45 degree angle. That's all I falling over. Front toe is going to pop up. Just be looking at 90 degree angle. This side, looking towards the front. Stepping off that 45. Nice cossack squat right here. Let that front toe pop up and press back. Get up and body as upright as possible. Working on that hip mobility. And switch sides. So right here, looking towards the front. You step off 
45 degree angle, and I'm looking at 90 degrees from where I started. This foot is going to stay pointed this way. Other foot in my body this way, come back up. Let that front tail pop up. Do some hip rotation. Nice stretch on the inside of this one. On the bottom half. And relax. 